everyone it's ukeme today's episode is just a short gist i'll be telling you about why i'm doing youtube and how youtube has really helped my life even though i have less than 500 subscribers in short as at the time of making this video i just have 490 subscribers it was just one day during the covid season i told myself that i would start youtubing i decided to launch out i started my first book review with battlefield of the mind by joyce Meyer, and i think it was just a coincidence that i was reading that book but you know what the book really addressed we're actually talking to me my fears my um reasons to launch out what was keeping me my mentality i don't know that book really demystified some of the things that i thought some of the ideas i thought that were you know right but were wrong some of the the negative um behaviors i was holding on to that were wrong and i began to you know let go and and so i started off youtube um you know talking about books and then i at some point i you know i got um, overwhelmed with the desire to want to meet this target of having 1k subscribers and i was like how will i have 1k subscribers and i started you know i started putting up different content that were sort of trending to you know up my my <laughs> my views during elections i'll put up election content but then i realized that this wasn't what i wanted to do i wanted a channel where when i publish videos people are looking up to or looking forward to watching my videos because they would love benefits and enjoy the content i'm putting forward there and so i decided to you know stay back and say you know what i won't be posting viral content again that do not relate with what i'm doing i would focus on what i'm doing some of the things i've learned from youtube i have learned a lot one number one is my level of confidence like when I sit before my ring light and I dress up to speak, I just feel like I am speaking to the world, people in different continents, in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, they can actually hear me. And that's an amazing feeling. Coming before my camera every week has really really played a huge role in boosting my speaking confidence and presentation skills secondly i've learned a lot about video editing like on if i wasn't doing youtube i'm sure i would not even be bothered about video editing skills i've tried to, things i would not have you know ordinarily known i've learned about about all that and then thirdly I would say that um, YouTube has helped me to be disciplined. I mean, just having been here, having less than 500 subscribers, but showing up every week, trying to show up every week, putting up that discipline as though I were being paid. I'm not paid, but I just, you know, I've just tried to put up that discipline and it has really helped me to sh show up every week, to sit down, create content, edit, and put it out there it's amazing when I, back to my video editing skills i would say um i'm high up there right now but considering where i started back in 2020 if you see my some of my earliest videos and you see what i'm dishing out now oh boy you know that there's been a long way of improvement i have improved i have learned skills i i have built confidence and it's amazing despite the fact that i don't have that much subscribers but it's been an amazing journey of discovering and i've tried different things you know i few months ago i came up with an animation series jenna the jenna series if you followed it without youtube i probably would never have tried that i've been able to explore different things and it's been an amazing journey and would continue taking it one step at a time 
bringing out video every week bringing out beautiful content godly content and educative and insightful content and to my 490 subscribers you guys are the real mvps i mean those ones that have stayed with me from day one ah you guys have tried you followed me through on this journey and i'm just saying thank you thank you so much for subscribing for for being here for join, journeying through this youtube journey with me we'll grow together we'll get to the top together i'm going to appreciate some people the number one person i'll be appreciating is my mother mrs grace odonsa she what i don't know how much i can appreciate her but my mom is really amazing sometimes i could bet that maybe my mom would be the only person that would watch my content but she would always watch every single video i put out during her leisure time, she'll go back and watch them and she'll call me, she'll be like, Mom, Bakara, please send me that link to that other video. I really like that content. In short, the encouragement I get from her just keeps me going. The way she encourages and supports my content and watches all my videos. My mother is amazing. And this didn't just start today. I think one of the things that have contributed to my creative side is the impact of my mom on my life. I remember back then when I was in primary school, I wrote a story and I remember my mom, I can't even remember the story now, it was just one funny story, but I remember my mom carrying my um, manuscript now in this sense and she sat down to type everything, like she typed it. She should, she's my first publisher, <laughs> my unpublished first story. My mother sat down to type everything and she made copies and stapled them and she shared it to my aunties to read. She's been super amazing and on, on this YouTube journey, she supports me like she watch my content, she would comment, she would give me feedbacks and she would encourage me. My husband. He always gives me the opportunity to make my content too. Sometimes when I want to make my content in the afternoon and everywhere is noisy, I'll drive everybody away from the house. So yeah, if people should leave the house, go, go outside with the baby and they'll all go. Sometimes it's in the middle of the night. I need to set up my tripod stand and everything and he would assist to set it up and he would also watch my videos and give me feedbacks or he told me have you heard about this app it could help you with editing and all that he's been amazing an amazing support system sometimes i've not even done my house chores like that and i want to make content he'll not complain no he allow me he'll give me the time to make my contents and he would always tell me that don't worry your channel will grow <laughs> then to my friend sophie Sophie is another person that watches all my content. Sophie Aqua, she watches my content. Like sometimes, you know, as I'm just posting the video like this, Sophie will just, she will just send the link on her status. She's already sharing it. She has watched it. She's a huge support system. There are times when I'm thinking about how to do something, and for you know, Sophie will just send me guidelines, she'll just send me one link and everything. She's been a huge support system of this content. And to so my sister Deborah, my sister is another person too that watches all my content. So she'll watch it, she'll share it, she'll like it, and she'll support me. Ah, sometimes, eh? Hi. I remember one time my sister, she had YouTube night data. She now kept my videos playing so that my watch time would increase. That is so amazing. And then to all my other 490 subscribers for staying tuned and for watching my videos, for engaging. Thank you very much. So this video is just, this video is just to appreciate you all, to say thank you for joining this youtube journey with me it's it's been amazing i have learned i have grown i have built competence i'm building capacity and i know that we may not be there yet but watch out for pages highlights we are getting there you know sometimes i say these ideas god 
did not just release them for releasing sake. There's a purpose. Perhaps there's one person, and that's what sometimes my husband encourages me with, like, Maybe one person that is meant to watch this content has seen it and has learned that like that should be your goal. That the person that it's meant to has seen it and has benefited and you've done what God has led you to do. So to my fellow YouTubers with less than 500 subscribers who are feeling some kind of way, I'll just encourage you to keep on keeping on. If if you're sure of your why and what you're doing don't feel like quitting because you know you haven't attained that great height or you ha your channel hasn't gone viral yet just keep doing what you're doing but i'd leave you guys with this quote you know to my fellow youtubers not just my youtubers but if you're doing something and maybe you're consistent at it but you're not seeing results immediately and you're thinking about quitting um i'll leave this i'll leave this quote with you if you work hard, learn how to connect with people, develop credibility, and prove yourself every day. After a while, people will begin to believe in you. You will have influence and you'll be able to get things done. And here's what's really ironic. Lead well long enough and people will shift from giving you no credit to giving you proper credit to giving you credit that is even too much what is john maxwell saying here in a nutshell if you work hard and you put yourself in what you do and you develop the needed credibility at first people may not they may not recognize the fact that you are good at what you do they may even pay no attention to you but that's okay it's really okay but after a while, if you keep at it and you keep developing competence and credibility, he said, they will begin to notice you. You will have influence and you'll be able to do great things. And then long, in the long run, they will give you the credits and they'll even give you credit that is even so much more than what you deserve. So just keep at it, keep doing what you're doing, keep exploring, keep enjoying your journey. You see, when I was making the um when I was making the Bloom Where You're Planted series, initially I actually thought I was speaking to a crowd and all that. And eventually I realized that God was taking me through a journey. He was teaching me things. And it was so amazing because each of those topics, I would say, were divinely inspired by God. I would sit and then I was just waiting on him for the next topic to speak after the next topic. And I would just, you know, get divine insights from him on the next topic to speak after each. And it's been amazing. And when I look through, I have realized that even though I, I thought I was speaking to a lot of crowd, I was actually speaking to myself and I'll tell you one sick one, one amazing truth so each of those weeks I have been seemingly tested by what I teach to the point that I still being scared and careful like if I want to talk about this topic now and I don't want to be tested no, I, don't, I don't want to be tested but when I spoke about jealousy, God would bring situations that would really test the state of my heart if I'm going to be jealous over a situation. When I talk about keeping at keeping, like that week I thought about keeping, keep keeping at it, I experienced situations that made me feel like, you know, just giving up. When I wrote about procrastination, that week I struggled with procrastination the most, but it kept bringing in my mind, like, you are. You, you have to advise yourself first. you have to do what you're preaching and it's been an amazing journey so thank you so much for staying in today's episode today i'm not going to ask you to subscribe if you've enjoyed the content and you would like to join this family feel free to subscribe but if you won't if you don't enjoy the content and you don't want to subscribe that's okay thank you for stopping by also see you again in another episode when i bring in more content bye